codfish so plentiful it served as the cornerstone of the region's economy. He rode and he rode till he come to a brook and there he saw a fisherman a baiting of his hook singing I tie I, I tie I, I tilly I tilly I tie I. Oh fisherman, oh fisherman, oh fisherman, said he, have you a codfish for my tea? Singing I tie I, I tie I, I tilly I tilly I tie I. Oh yes, of course, sir, I've got two. There's a one for me, there's a one for you. Singing I tie I, I tie I, I tilly I tilly I tie I. However, New England fishing is nothing like it was even 30 years ago. What I had to have was a boat and sat around them and catch fish. It was that simple. Probably 35 to 40 pounds, every fish. It was the most fantastic fishery, the most fantastic thing I ever saw. If you didn't see any cod down there, you would throw the line out to one side and, and just keep bringing it back, and the whole school would come back to you. A lot of boats fish it very hard to where it's either depleted or collapsed and then simply moves on to another. At the time, no one knew that many of these hot spots were essential breeding grounds for cod. When the hot spots were fished out, it would take decades to rebuild. There's been no fish up inside of the 20 or 30 miles from shore for 20 years. Cod counts hit their lowest point in recorded history, 12% of the level thought to be necessary to sustain population. Pulse fishing that I've defined wasn't very long before we had wiped it out. 